Hello, captain of the horses here. I I know I look like some kind of budget Bill Bailey right now. Uh, it's it's okay. Bear with me. I'm just, I'm just gonna put this hat on, and we can get through it together. It's gonna be fine. <laughs> yeah, this isn't any better, is it? So it came to my attention when I accidentally pushed uh, an archive video upload public that a lot of you don't actually know that I do comics, even though they're kind of my main thing. I, it, it, like it, enough that I went to the trouble of getting a bunch of them printed. This is definite. I planned this, yes. So I'm just going to talk about them for a bit. Maybe catch your interest, see if there's something you want to read. Sound good? D yeah! <laughs> remember Aspect, the animation that I put out last summer? Oh, of course you don't, but you probably remember Sunlight from a few years back. Both of these are from the Sunjackers, which is my current main project. It follows Atom Smasher, a street rat, as she and her friends Candy and Throttle try to survive and save who they can in a world where the sun has been gone for decades, mega corporations have a stranglehold on every aspect of life, and their existence relies on staying one step ahead of the police. Sunjackers is pretty firmly cyberpunk, their world is a high-tech matchstick tower in the snow, and far beyond their power to change it, but that's not going to stop them from trying. Uh, also, no, it had nothing to do with the game, I've been working on this since 2017, I don't want to talk about that! Ah! On a lighter note, uh, Firestarter Spitfire is my first and longest running comic, a cute little slice of life started in yonder old fandom days of 2011. Remember Spitfire's Dead Off? Yeah, that was part of this comic. Um, I could describe the plot of some of the arcs, but the plot isn't really the point. Uh, the Spitfire is sarcastic, foul-mouthed, but also filled with regrets that she learns to live with and overcome as she weans herself off nostalgia as a defense mechanism and builds a future for herself. The comic is pseudo real time in the the t oh god it's been 10 years in the 10 years since 2011 in real life 10 years have also passed in the comic uh this also means that the art and writing at the start can be kind of rough but you don't miss a crazy amount by starting in the middle all right that's enough sappiness let's get back to misery uh agents of art is uh oh god how do i explain this one um it's like men in black for magic but they're only just starting up as an organization i guess that makes it a paranormal thriller uh, there's two stories in the series right now, Plain Sailing, which ran from 2012 to 2015 and is about Twilight's friends retrieving her from the afterlife after an accident and meanders a little bit as I figure out what the heck I'm doing with it. Uh, and Chasing Shadows, a much more focused story about a terrorist insurrection and Rainbow Dash's crisis of allegiance that started and ended in 2017. Uh, this one's been on the back burner for a while, but I'm getting back to it eventually, I swear. And as some dessert... Uh, board Games with Friends is a little review series about board games. Uh, Rainbow Dash and Twilight Sparkle talk about board games because they're just a great hobby to have. Uh, I mostly write about gateway games here because I'm trying to introduce board games to the pony fandom rather than the other way around. And I don't update this very often, but I've been uploading strips every now and then since 2018. So that's my comics. I'm also going to take a moment to plug my Patreon, which is what supports me making these comics, and also these... Board games, they're board games, which I will talk about another time. Um, and there's also neat little other rewards, like... Oh, I don't know, maybe I'll get around to talking about this bad boy at some point. And now I go back to whatever it is I do.